but I'll, um, I have this, this toe that I talked okay. about last week and the week before. Anyway, I'm figured out it's probably pretty arthritic because it got broken. And so I, I ordered from you guys the foot rub or foot massage or foot soak or something like that. Foot soak, I think it is. Um, oh, the so soothing foot rub? Yes. Yeah. Is that right? Something, something like that. And yeah. um, I was I was curious um, what was in it to start with. And I also ordered the Arthur Care because I thought, well, that would probably help as well. And maybe I'm on the right track with both of those. Yeah, I think those are both very good choices. Um, Arthur Care, any sort of deposits and accumulations in the joint, which with something that's been injured like that, even if it was a long time ago, is going to have accumulations. The the soothing foot rub, you know, I kind of like I've been playing with that for for a while and I'm really happy with what we have going on now. It's um, I mean, I was happy with the other things, too. But so it's actually the essential oil in it is um, uh, Taggett's, which uh -huh. is in the Marigold family, very good for inflammation and lymphatic movement in the foot and circulation, but in a way that's like very gentle and soothing. And the thing where we kind of stepped up the game a little bit there was um, I started putting it uh, in this base of um, it's, you know, there's sesame oils that are blended, but they're, they each have a maceration, which is like a way to take the herbs and soak them in the sesame oil and then, you know, extract something and then pull the herbs out. And then you have the, the qualities of the, the plants um, in there. So it's an, like an herbal extract versus an essential oil. And with that, it's... Um, Arnica, St. John's Wort, and Calendula. And Calendula and Taggett's are in the same family, the same botanical family. And so um, very good for inflammation, very good for bruising, very good for spasms, very good for like pain, you know, bruising, anything like that, like trauma, trauma related things. And so that combination seems to be really good for the feet. And, you know, it's the, the base oil, like I've just like here in the office, we've just kind of coined it um, um, uh, Arnica complex, you know, like on the big jug that I have made, you know, I make it like gallons at a time. And, um, you know, it's added to a couple of different things. And um, it, it should be very soothing. The longer you use it, the better it does for the to for the foot. Mm -hmm. And so I would keep just keep applying it daily. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you, you got the ointment or you got the blend? I got the ointment. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. two ounces of ointment. Yeah. And perfect. It's really dark. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I never, I don't think I've ever seen an essential oil that wasn't blue. It didn't look blue. It just, brown. <laughs> right. and just I was like, dark. Yeah. Yeah. What's in this? It's making yeah, it yeah. dark. So. I guess now I know. I don't know which one of those is making it dark, but something is. Oh, uh, they're all they're all kind of dark. Yeah, okay. yeah. You know, because you're infusing a lot of herbs into the oil, and oh, yeah. so they yeah they come out like the St. John's Wort actually is almost like a red, uh -huh. but the um, the arnica is like almost like an orangey color, and then the calendula is like uh, kind of a brownish color, like okay, when nice. when it's extracted. Yeah. That's that's what did it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I get into several of the ointments now. It's it's been kind of a new addition. And um we even have a thing, we just got it in today where I actually was able to run down um an arnica essential oil. Ah. And so we're gonna make a you know, we have that that combination of arnica, St. John's Wort, and Calendula that is the macerations, you know, the herbal extracts. And then we're going to put the essential oil of Arnica, St. John's wort and calendula in and make this like super strong ointment that uh, is a thing unto itself. But I haven't even taken the Arnica out of the box yet. Like we, we were busy doing stuff all day, but you know, I'll take it out in the morning, but yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to, 
play with it as we talk. So oh, good, good, good. It feels okay. really good on the feet. Yeah. Like I, I even had like a, you, you know, when we were first making it, you know, I always have a weird issue with this shoulder because it was so injured so badly. And I can get most of it unwound, but there's just like a little section that like where the muscles tore, where it's just, it gets weird. And I didn't even put essential oils. I just wanted to see what the base oil would do. Um, I put some on there and I think that was two weeks ago. I haven't touched it since. I mean, it's like, it feels that good. I was, I was playing with it probably every three or four days. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing with the, that combination is it's very good anti-inflammatory, very good for spasms, very good for improving lymphatic function and circulation into the area. And it kind of breaks up any of the, like the stickiness in the blood that's like stuck in there, like blood con congestion in the area. Mm -hmm. And not necessarily deposits, just like a, like a lingering of blood in the area, you, you know, uh, old stagnant stale blood. And um, uh, apparently that was my issue. And my own feels way better. That's great. Okay. Well, thank you. You're so welcome. Get, get, keep us posted on how that's doing with your toe. Okay. Like, treat, treat the whole foot though. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of go on the bottom of the foot and kind of rub along where the where that toe is and even go up on the shin and the calf. Okay, um, all the way up there. Yeah, I I, I would treat, you know, because a lot of times the issue is manifesting in the toe and it makes sense. Your toe was broken, there were spasms. That makes sense that it's probably there, but you still kind of want to follow that up because there it's the tendon but if you follow the tendon and go up into the shin or the calf there's the muscle and sometimes if you unwind the muscle a little bit it it helps to soften up the tendon and it helps to kind of shift and change the things that are happening down in the toes okay that makes total sense yeah. uh, thank you you're I'll so welcome that. okay bye-bye <laughs>